मुगल एम्पर जहांगीर जब पहली बार कश्मीर आए थे तो कश्मीर के बारे में कुछ यूं कह कर गए थे घर फिर दोस्त बर रुए जमी अस्त हमीस्त 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 यानी धरती पर अगर कहीं जन्नत है तो यही है यही है यही है बट दिस हेवन डज नॉट कम ईजी ऑन पॉकेट्स सो इफ यू आर अ ब्रोक मिलेनियल हिट बाई ट्रेवल बग लाइक माई सेल्फ दिस वीडियो इज गोइंग टू हेल्प यू प्लान अ कश्मीर ट्रिप विदाउट बर्निंग अ होल इन योर पॉकेट्स I started my journey from Chandigarh. So the plan was to board an overnight train from Chandigarh to Jammu and then take a sharing cab from Jammu till Srinagar. Kyunki plan kafi impromptu tha, to confirmed seat to nahi mil payi. Kuch safar khade khade nikal diya aur kuch safar is tarah jagah bana kar. Raat se kab subah hui pata hi nahi chala aur dekhte hi dekhte hum Jammu pahunch chuke the. अब आज का सबसे बड़ा टास्क था एक अच्छी और सस्ती शेयरिंग कैब ढूंढना क्योंकि पीक सीजन चल रहा था तो सस्ती शेयरिंग कैब तो नहीं मिल पाई मगर अच्छी जरूर मिल गई डिस्टेंस बिटवीन जम्मू टू श्रीनगर इज 250 फिफ्टी किलोमीटर एंड टेक्स अराउंड सिक्स आवर्स टू रीच थैंक्स टू द न्यूली कंस्ट्रक्टेड टनल्स दैट हैव रिड्यूस द डिस्टेंस टू अ ग्रेट एक्सटेंट I reached Srinagar around 3 p.m. took an auto and headed straight to the Dal Lake where I had booked a houseboat for the night the part I was most excited about Namaste uncle Aa jao pakka This was the houseboat where I was staying at. Allow me to give you a quick tour of it. This was the entrance which opened into a common sitting area. This houseboat was not a luxurious one, but for the price that I had paid, it exceeded my expectations. So this was my cute little cozy sa room. If you plan to stay in Srinagar, you should definitely not miss upon this experience. After resting for a while, I went out, walked around, explored the local market, did some shopping, tried the famous street food of Srinagar and took the mandatory shikara ride later in the evening. Plan for the next day was to visit Gulmarg. Gulmarg is a small hill station situated some 50 kilometers from Srinagar. Sadly, there are no direct sharing cabs from Srinagar to Gulmarg. 
so one has to take a sharing cab from Srinagar to Tangmark and then take another sharing cab from Tangmark to Gulmark. Coincidentally, a couple living in the same houseboat as I were also leaving for Gulmark that day, so I joined them to Gulmark. We came along so well that we eventually ended up spending the rest of our trip together. यूँ तो गुलमर्ग में देखने और करने के लिए बहुत कुछ है बट ऑल आई वॉन्टेड टू डू वॉज टू रिलैक्स एंड सोक इन द मोमेंट आई ऑल्सो रिमेंबर मेकिंग अ लॉर ऑफ गुड फ्रेंड्स दैट डे ऑन आर वे बैक टू श्रीनगर आई रेंडमली आस्ट इरफान भैया एज टू वॉट अकॉर्डिंग टू हिम वॉज द मोस्ट ब्यूटिफुल प्लेस इन कश्मीर He named दूध पथरी उनका इतना ही कहना बहुत था इट वॉज दैट वेरी मोमेंट वी चेंज आर प्लान एंड हेडेड टू दूध पथरी दो वी वर ऑलरेडी क्वाइट लेट सिटुएटेड एट अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ फोर्टी टू किलोमीटर्स फ्रॉम द कैपिटल सिटी ऑफ श्रीनगर दूध पथरी हैज वेरी रिसेंटली एंटर द चार्ट ऑफ जम्मू एंड कश्मीर टूरिज्म मैप अभी जो हम हैं हम यहाँ से श्रीनगर दत्तपत्री से बोल रहे हैं और जो ये हमारे साथ मैम ये देखें भुट्टा खा रही है भुट्टा पूरा एंजॉय हो रहा है और ये जो हमारे साथ अंकल जी बैठे हैं दत्तपत्री से बिलोंग करते हैं दोनों सर ये भुट्टा बनाते हैं यहाँ पे और ये आपका दत्तपत्री रह गया सारा दूध पत्री इज़ अ क्विंट इसल कश्मीर A gorgeous green meadow surrounded by pine trees and the views of the lofty Himalayas. It is truly a piece of heaven. By the time we left Dood Patri, it was already dark. Imran Bhaiya was kind enough to drop me to my hostel. I checked in and called it a day. Next day I woke up early and went for a morning walk. Dal Lake was hardly 5 minutes walk from the hostel where I was staying at. The views of the lake early in the morning and late night were phenomenal. We started for Sonmarg around 8 am. Ye wali hai Srinagar University? Ye. Ha. Main was right nahi chalti. ये दो दिन इधर ही रहता बत्ती बत्ती ये बत्ती पे वेट कर रहा था रेड लाइट पे ये वाली लाइट ना बैठी हुई है ये खाली लाल ही रहती है हमेशा हम तो शाम को वापस भी आते हैं वहीं पे होता है बत्ती के चक्कर में Sonmarg is one of the four most visited destinations in Kashmir the other being Srinagar Gulmarg and Pahalgam It is located on the Srinagar Leh Highway at a distance of 80 kilometers from Srinagar. Sonmarg can be easily reached by a bus or a private or sharing cab. But one thing you must keep in mind before coming to Sonmarg is that private cabs are not allowed to go beyond Sonmarg. So in case you plan to visit Zozila, Zero Point or Dras, you need to hire another private cab from Sonmarg. Sonmarg was a place I was eagerly waiting to tick off my bucket list probably because of the hype created around it but honestly it was nowhere close to what I expected it to be it was extremely windy extremely dusty extremely hot and extremely crowded one can also hike to Thajwas glacier which is roughly a 3 kilometers trek from the main town You can also take a pony though I personally don't recommend taking one. While Vaibhav bhaiya and Dipanki the left for Thajwas, Imran bhaiya and I decided to stay back and explore the town more closely. Yahan ki tram ye is pe baithte hain char bande. Kitne baithte hain? Char bande. Jo bhi matlab shaadiyon mein reception wagera hota hai na aise hi char bande baithte hain khane ke. 
While roaming around, we came across this Gujar family who welcomed us with a smile, and we spent our remaining time with them. What are you going to do? He's running away. ये तो अब इसमें हमने मतलब फर्श शर्श नहीं डाला क्योंकि इसके ऊपर से लिपाई करनी है अच्छा उसके बाद ये बच्चों ने अपने लिए डाले खेलने के लिए ये यहाँ पे ये फर्श बच्चे खेलते चलते हैं यहाँ पे तो अभी हमने कहा इसकी काल लिपाई शिपाई होगी अच्छी तरह फिर उसके बाद इसमें फर्श एस ए एन आई ए सानिया बच्चों के साथ वक्त कैसे गुजर गया पता ही नहीं चला थोड़ी ही देर में शाम हो गई और हम निकल पड़े वापस श्रीनगर की ओर We started for Pahalgam around 8 in the morning. The drive was both smooth and scenic. From large saffron fields to bat factories to apple orchards, there was a lot to see on the way as well. Far flung from the chaotic bustling city of Srinagar is Pahalgam, a quaint little town having a charm of its own. Surrounded by Himalayas and abound with natural beauty, Pahalgam is sure to leave you awestruck. We reached Pahalgam around 11 a.m., ate our breakfast and then headed to Aru, a small village 12 kilometers ahead of Pahalgam. It is comparatively less crowded and more secluded, so we decided to camp in Aru and not in Pahalgam. There are some places that make you utterly happy and content. Aru was one such place. The gushing turquoise water of Lidda River, flowing with grace through the valley, will transport you to another world. With the help of a friend of mine, I somehow managed to get the tents on rent for the night. While I was sitting by the riverside, a group of local Kashmiri people who had come there for a picnic invited me to have food with them, and I couldn't say no. Kashmiris are known for their warm hospitality, and now I know why. <laughs> There was a guest house nearby and we had our food there only. We sat around the bonfire for the longest time and then went off to sleep only to wake up to this view. We left for Betaa Valley in the morning. Betaa Valley is one of the top most tourist attractions in Pahalgam. after aru and baiseran valley since we were a little short of time we could not really explore the valley much we spent around an hour and left for srinagar we got badly struck in traffic and reached srinagar only in the late afternoon it became very difficult for me to find a sharing cab as most of the cabs leave for jammu in the morning itself After a great deal of struggle and help from Imran Bhaiya I was finally able to get a cab. I reached Jammu around 1 am and stayed at my brother-in-law's place who came to pick me up and dropped me to the railway station the next day. This was how my 5 days trip to Kashmir came to an end. A lot of you had texted me asking about how safe is Kashmir especially as a solo women traveler. Let's see what Kashmiris have to say on this. Yahan pe ek 
मैडम आई है हमारे साथ शी इज़ ऑल अलोन शी इज़ ऑल अलोन एंड आई वॉज रियली फैसिनेटेड फर्स्ट टाइम एन आई सॉ हर क्योंकि अभी ये वापस जा रही है यहाँ से इनका बेटर एक्सपीरियंस होगा और मैं बाकी सभी लोगों को बोलना चाहता हूँ इंडिया के सभी लोगों को बिना किसी हिचकिचाहट के बिना किसी मतलब विदाउट एनी बरीज यू शुड कम यू शुड एक्सप्लोर द वैली इट्स रियली सेफ ऑल द पीपल ऑल द गर्ल्स फ्राम इंडिया दे आर लाइक माई सिस्टर्स नॉट ओनली फॉर मी फॉर ऑल द कश्मीरी पीपल यू विल गेट ए फुल हार्टेड फुल हार्टेड एंड फुल हार्टेड वेलकम है यहाँ पे सब कश्मीर में नॉर्मल है ये सब मीडिया करती है आप इनको बोले यहाँ पे घूमेंगे एक खुद देखेंगे कि सब कुछ नॉर्मल है मैं कह रहा हूँ सबको आप यहाँ पे आइए यहाँ पे घूमेंगे थैंक यू If you personally ask me I would say Kashmir is like any other tourist place in India. People are helpful, warm and welcoming. After all, a major source of their income comes from tourism only. Yes, Kashmir is politically sensitive, but it is very unlikely that a tourist gets caught up in that situation. So I urge all of you to plan their Kashmir trip without any worries and I promise you you are going to have the best time of your lives.